All right, so this is the unit we're going to be installing in this space. Finally, we have our uh, three-way valve installed here. Um, this is kind of a, a new-ish unit. It's going from uh, one suite and a banana suite into this one, kind of a uh, after the thought. Should have been installed when the suite was new, but uh, as we got our uh, uh, hangers in the ceiling here, we might be able to reuse them. We might have to. I have to shift them over a bit. Um, the old fan coil water piping tied in there. And this one actually comes out in the same area, uh, but we're going to be installing a strainer and, uh, and another isolation valve on the return as well. And we're going to bring it back to this area so the strainer can be accessible instead of over the cabinets here. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, we'll have flex hoses as well. So we're going to make two hard 90s there, hard pipe. Uh, so we have enough room because we gotta get the filter in on this side too. So if we just just bend it with the curvature of the flex hoses, it's gonna be too tight. So so that's gonna be that. And then we'll have to get a, a support hanger in here somewhere for the piping as well. Okay, we finally got it installed here. Uh, strainer valve over there. Return coming through the top, the through the valve, the bypass. All gone to say trap, we had to shorten it. To, I usually like to use the full formed V trap, but couldn't fit it in the ceiling. So. And uh, the uh, fuses in this disconnect were blown, probably from this heat strip running in without the fan or something like that. So, and yeah, look at that rat's nest. So maybe we'll get some new fuses for it and uh, hopefully fire it up.